as you can see I've been welding again um, I've just been finishing off the the bottom end of the frame which when the unicycles running is in this kind of position um, I've welded some brackets on here and uh, here each side um, if I want to mount something extra onto this like a detachable footrest or some kind of safety anti-tip device these are quite handy they'll be um, bolt holes through here and various things can mount on and be removed if they don't work and modified um, I'm doing that now because uh, I'm actually going to end up with electronics and connectors in here panelled in so I obviously can't be welding things on at that point and the Kelly controller will actually go it does actually fit into this area here it will go straight in and the various wires will then be uh, either in this part or in here with removable panels each side front and rear so that's that done I've also done a small bracing strut for the steering mount just in case it gets uh, has a hard life um, and then finally I've welded in these two bolts um, mainly at the bottom here uh, and the top part if you remember will slot onto these so the machine can be taken into two parts if you want to um, what else um, you'll notice with these bolts I've got the smooth part here which the uh, tab locates onto to form the pivot for the steering um, it's with a you know a, c a couple of greased washers so it's fairly basic but it actually works really well um, it allows you to, to detach the top part quite quickly and um, the amount of movement on here is only a few degrees um, as you're riding along so that's that for now now I could pretend that I designed this area here so the Kelly controller would drop straight into it you see but of course I'd be lying it's actually just a fluke um, it just fits so the idea is that the these bulky connectors they will all go into this triangular area at the top here and this will be panelled in um, these are the main power leads um, which will run to the top part of the frame with the batteries in and then we have the three big power leads to the motor um, they will probably run in the side here like this and be connected to the motor and then again it will be panelled in front and back to keep it clean um, so it might potentially end up as quite a neat assembly um, but that's partly by accident and by design but there we are for when something goes right so here I've made a cover plate and um, tapped some holes to take these uh, little bolts and then we can do them up with an allen key that makes a nice cover plate and then we'll start working on uh, getting the plugs to fit inside so the thing I've been doing uh, next then is is really packaging of wiring uh, if you can see here let's just move the light there you are you've got the cable which comes out of the axle and it's been carefully rooted so the metalwork doesn't uh, chafe it round here up here um, into this triangular section at the back there's the Kelly controller the fat cable comes over here the thinner branches come out which are the hall sensor connectors the thick three wires then go down this side and if we try and get the film of that um, they're actually joined here to the wires which come out of the end of the Kelly controller um, the power leads here uh, are joined with these quick connect plugs here uh, and these run into the Kelly controller because all the wires from the Kelly controller are on the left side of this view you can't really can't really see them there you are you might just see them coming out there 
Um, so then we've got to connect up all the multiple wires for the and plugs. We take up a bit of room from the hall sensors. They tuck in here. There's another one here. This isn't connected to anything. This is a spare one because this particular hub motor gives you uh, two plugs that come out from the hall sensors. So if the wires get broken or the sensors fail, there's actually a spare set, um, which means you can carry on using the machine. Um, and then panelling everything in with these little panels which are held on by um, small bolts which go into uh, threaded holes in the metal tubing that I've um, threaded with a, a tap. Um, so there'll be one here, there'll probably be a cooling fan here and there'll be a little panel there as well and then it'll be fairly neat. Coming down from the top of the machine we've got the power lead which probably um, I'll make thicker. Um, it goes through a monster fuse here, which is something like two, three hundred amps um, from the battery pack. Um, these leads are from the dead man switch, which uh, feeds directly into Kelly control and will cut the power. Um, these connectors allow me to test the voltage with a multimeter quite easily. That's the 0 to 5 volt signal from the Arduino and the digital to analog converter that I've mounted onto it. Um, and 2.5 volts is no motion, uh, anything above that is forward speed, anything lower than that is reverse speed. Um, 